this video we will learn about equivalent circuit of UJT. This is simple block diagram of UJT that is unijunction transistor and this is equivalent circuit of UJT. The equivalent circuit contains two registers in which one RB1 is variable and the other RB2 is fixed and one diode D. The resistance of the silicon bar is represented by two series registers that is RBB equal to RB1 plus RB2 is known as interbase resistance. Register RB1 is the resistance of the bar between base B1 and emitter junction that is of this part. This is variable resistance because its value depends upon the bias voltage across the PN junction that is between emitter and base B1. Its magnitude is vary with the emitter current I from 50 ohm to 5 kilo ohm for a corresponding change of I E from 50 microampere to 0 microampere. Register RB2 is the resistance of the bar between base B2 and emitter junction that is of this part. The interbase resistance RBB is the resistance between the terminals B1 and B2 when I E equal to 0 that is RBB equal to RB1 plus RB2 when I E equal to 0. The value of RBB generally lies between 4 kilo ohm to 10 kilo ohm. A battery VBB is connected across B1, B2. Part of VBB is dropped over RB1 and part of VBB is dropped over RB2. With IE equal to 0, the current through RB1 and RB2 is therefore written as VBB upon RB1 plus RB2. Therefore, voltage across RB1 equal to RB1 into current through it. And current through RB1 is this VBB upon RB1 plus RB2. And therefore, voltage across RB1 equal to RB1 into VBB upon RB1 plus RB2. Say it is VRB1 and which is equal to eta VBB if we put RB1 upon RB1 plus RB2 equal to eta then voltage across RB1 equal to eta VBB or it is equal to RB1 upon RBB. From this equation we can also write eta equal to VRB1 upon VBB. The ratio eta is called intrinsic standoff ratio of the UJT. The value of eta is lie between 0.51 to 0.82. The voltage eta VBB appearing across RB1 reverse biases the diode and therefore emitter current IE is 0. If now progressively rising positive voltage is applied to the emitter, the diode will become forward biased. When input voltage exceeds eta VBB plus VD, here VD be the forward voltage drop across diode. The diode will fire and IE will begin to flow through RB1. In equation form the emitter firing potential is given by Vp equal to eta Vbb plus Vd. When the diode did start conducting, holes are injected from P type material to the N type bar. These holes are swept down towards the terminal B1 and this decreases the resistance between emitter and B1. In this way, with the help of equivalent circuit, we can understand the working of UJT.